Welcome to the Complete Discipleship Evangelism 48 Lesson Course by Andrew Womack and Don Crow. Level 1 Lesson 2 Salvation by Grace by Don Crow. Jesus many times used parables, stories which illustrated spiritual truths. Luke 18 verses 9 to 14 begins, Also he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Jesus was targeting a certain audience, those who trusted that they were righteous and automatically despised and looked down on everyone else. He told this parable to these people who trusted in the things that they did. We would call them self-righteous, which is what Jesus was speaking about when he said, they looked down on everyone else, saying, I am better than you. In verse 10, Jesus says, two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, and the other a tax collector. We would say in modern language that they went to the church to pray, and one was a Pharisee. A Pharisee was a very religious person. The word actually means separated one. Someone who was so religious that in a sense they would say, don't defile me, don't get too close to me. I am not like other men. I am better than everyone else. The other man Jesus mentioned was a publican. Publicans were tax collectors and were known to be very evil, sinful people who cheated and defrauded. They collected taxes by any means they could, stuck a lot of the money in their pockets and gave some of it to the Roman government so they were not looked upon favorably by their peers. The story continues in verse 11. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. I want you to notice that. Who was he praying to? He was actually praying to himself, even though he was saying God and using the right words. God was not acknowledging his prayer, and we will see later why that was so. Notice that he prayed, God, I thank you, I am not like other men. This Pharisee, this religious man, said, I am not like other men. I am not sinful. I am not an extortioner, not unjust, not an adulterer, and I am not like this publican right here who came to pray. You see, he despised and looked down on others because he thought he was better than them. In verse 12, the Pharisee said, I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. He was saying, notice what I do. Do you know what it means to fast? It actually means to go without food. He also gave money to the church. He was one of those people who say, don't bother me. I live a good life. I give to charity. I give money down at the church. Then we come to the tax collector in verse 13. And the tax collector, standing afar off, would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Notice his body language standing afar off. He did not even go all the way into the church. 
he was so ashamed of his life and the things that he had done that he stood afar off and would not even look up, would not even lift his eyes to heaven, but smote his breast. When the Bible talks of smiting the breasts in the Old Testament, many times they also tore their garments, which was a way of saying, I am sorry, God, for what I have done. It was a sign of repentance, a contrite heart, and a broken spirit which God would not despise. This tax collector, sinful man that he was, cried out to God and prayed, God, be merciful to me. I am a sinner. Verse 14 says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The publican went home justified, declared righteous before God, in right standing with God, forgiven by God. Why was he forgiven? Why did he go to his home in right standing before God? and not the religious Pharisee. It was because the Pharisee exalted himself, saying, I am better than other people. I am not sinful. I am not like other men. While the tax collector knew he had no standing before God, nothing he could offer him. He was a sinful person. The Bible says, Jesus did not come to save righteous people, but sinners. And we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. This tax collector humbled himself and found forgiveness and pardon. We are talking about salvation by grace. Grace is a wonderful word, and I'm going to give you an accepted definition of what it means, but grace means much more. In the Greek language in which the New Testament was written, grace is the word charis. An accepted definition of grace is this, the free unmerited favor of God toward people who do not deserve it. This tax collector did not deserve anything from God but he found God's favor because he humbled himself. There is another word in the Greek, charisma, which is charis with the suffix ma, ma, on the end. It means a specific manifestation or form of God's grace. And this tax collector found justification, right standing, before God as a gift. Romans 5 verse 17 says, For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. God offers you and me right standing before him as a gift. And according to our passage, the tax collector found that gift of justification, that gift of righteousness that only comes through Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John 1 verse 17, For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. This grace is only offered to one kind of person, those who humble themselves and know they have no standing before God, who cry for God's mercy. These people will find God's mercy and pardon. Let us now take this opportunity to pause and reflect on the lesson by considering some questions. Suggested scripture readings will first be read, 
followed by the question to be answered. A pause is then recommended to allow time to meditate on the scripture as an individual or to discuss as a group and formulate an answer. Finally, the suggested answer will be given. We read Luke 18 verse 9. Also, he spoke this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Question. What is a parable? Answer. A biblical parable is a story that illustrates spiritual truth. Also from Luke 18, 9. Question. To whom did Jesus direct this parable? Answer. To those who trusted in themselves that they were righteous. That is, they were self-righteous. Again from Luke 18, verse 9, the last part of the verse. People that are self-righteous always reveal an attitude towards others. Question. According to Luke 18, verse 9, what is that attitude? Answer. They despise others or look down on others. We read Luke 18, verse 10. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. Question. Two people went to pray. In modern language, where did they go to pray? Answer. To the church. Again from Luke 18 verse 10. Question. Who were these people? Answer. A Pharisee and a publican or tax collector. We read Luke 18 verse 11. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this tax collector. Question. What was the Pharisee's prayer? Answer. God, I thank you I am not like other men. I'm not a sinner. I'm not a swindler, unjust, an adulterer, or even like this tax collector. We read Luke 18, verse 12. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Question. What does fasting mean? Answer. To go without food. Again from Luke 18, verse 12. Question. What does it mean to give tithes? Answer. To give a tenth of one's income. We read Luke 18, verse 13. And the tax collector standing afar off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Question. Where was the tax collector standing? Answer. Afar off. Further question. Why? Answer. He was ashamed to go into the church or temple because he was such a terrible sinner so he stayed outside. Again from Luke 18, verse 13. Question. Why did the tax collector hang down his head and not look up? Answer. He was ashamed. Have you ever done something wrong and would not look a person in the face? Once more from Luke 18, verse 13. Question. What was the tax collector's prayer? Answer. 
God be merciful to me, a sinner. We read Luke 18, verse 14. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Question. Which one of these men was declared righteous before God when he went to his home? Answer. The tax collector. Again from Luke 18 verse 14. Question. Why was the tax collector declared righteous and not the Pharisee? Answer. Because he humbled himself before God, the Pharisee was full of pride. He didn't think he needed a savior. And again from Luke 18 verse 14. Question. Did God forgive this tax collector? Answer. Yes. And now we read together Romans 10 verse 13. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Question. If you right now got down on your knees and cried out to God from your heart, God be merciful to me, a sinner, would God treat you the same way he treated the tax collector? Answer. Yes, he would. He would forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. We read 1 John 1, 8 to 9. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you for joining me and taking part in our lesson. This lesson is one of many steps on a learning pathway, taking you deeper into discipleship and relationship with the Lord. And now, stay tuned for our next lesson.